Musician, songwriter, and record producer Mike Utley's roots can be traced all the way back here to his home state of Arkansas. Long before taking his talents to stages around the world, Mike Utley had a bit more modest beginning. Born in 1947 in Blytheville, Mike's path was not necessarily on the road to rock and roll glory in his early years. Originally a pre-med student at the University of Arkansas, he would have been a third-generation doctor had he continued in that direction. Well before college, music played a major role in his life. Holding positions in several bands throughout high school and college, Mike was an avid ragtime piano enthusiast. In fact, he went through three separate pianos before the end of high school. A childhood piano teacher once stated that many fellow students felt intimidated to perform after him in recitals. Utley's early career as a professional musician saw him working alongside Atlantic Records' house band, which backed the likes of Aretha Franklin, Jerry Jeff Walker, the Allman Brothers, Rita Coolidge, and Chris Christopherson. Soon after, Mike Utley became a part-time keyboardist on Jimmy Buffett's first major label album, 1973's A White Sport Coat and a Pink Crustacean. While continuing to work with Jimmy Buffett, he often lent his musical talents to a range of other performers over the next several years. After the wildly successful 1977 album Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes, Mike Utley became a permanent leader in the Parrothead Nation when he joined the Coral Reefer Band full-time. I guess we gotta change some latitudes and attitudes again. To recall the whole year. He went on to produce and co-produce several Buffett albums and has been a touring member of the band for the last three decades. From a creator of Caribbean-influenced sounds that have traveled the globe, we welcome Mike Utley back home and to the 2013 Arkansas Entertainers Hall of Fame.